I'm Coyote Peterson. How do you guys think I would look? With a blonde mustache. The rainforests of Costa Rica are filled with beautiful animals. However, sometimes the most stunning creatures can also be the most dangerous. Defensive appearances are everything on the Osa Peninsula. Whether it's camouflage to keep you hidden, look at that gross bugger. Uh, and I know everybody's watching me right now saying, Coyote, are you gonna get stung by the toe biter today? Absolutely not. Or bright colors to warn predators that you would be one toxic treat. It's all about survival of the best hidden or best dressed. But what if you don't care to hide? And what if you were not born with bright colors? but instead, one soft looking cuddly coat, which conceals beneath it an armor of venomous spines. Get ready to meet the Furry Puss Caterpillar. Holy cow, look at this, look at this caterpillar. What are you looking at? Whoa. You don't know what that is, do you? No, no I this wouldn't touch that. is what the locals call a fire caterpillar. You sure that's a caterpillar? Oh yeah. Watch out, I'm gonna bend this branch down because I don't want him to fall on my face. I would be in pain for hours. Look at that. It looks like a mustache. I don't exactly know the proper name for this caterpillar. This caterpillar has many nicknames. On the Osa Peninsula, it's known as the fire caterpillar. However, it is more commonly called the furry puss caterpillar because it so closely resembles a fuzzy kitty cat. In the world of science, this is actually a flannel moth caterpillar. But don't let their adorable and cuddly looks fool you. This fuzzy puss is covered in urticating hairs, and if you're unfortunate enough to make skin contact, these hairs can be extremely irritating. What's even worse is that just below the hairs are venomous spines. Get a handful of those, and for nearly 12 hours, you will be in excruciating pain. I'm pretty sure that the little bristles that will do you damage are on the other side of this fur. Let me take a look in there. Oh boy, can you see that? Oh yeah. Look at that. Those are what dig into your skin. And you go to pet it and you're like, ah, your hand is on fire. And actually, I think I got a couple of them that touched my finger because my finger's starting to itch. I'm sure you guys are thinking, oh, come on, coyote, just touch it. No, 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 no. My hand will feel like it is on fire. Now, it's tough to tell which end of this guy is the head. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this end is the head because as you can see, he's eating a hole right through that leaf. And we've caught this caterpillar right in the middle of dinner. And I'm sorry that I had to bug you in the middle of dinner, Mr. Caterpillar, but you were just far too bizarre looking for us to not get in front of the cameras. All right, let's see if we can get this fuzzy little caterpillar to show us his underside. Check this out, watch this. Look at that. Dancing. I just wanted to get him off the leaf, now watch. Look at that. Can you see his underside? Kind of gross. Looks like a tremor, doesn't it? See all those little legs? Like suction cups that allows him to move up and down tree trunks and his mouth is on the end of his head and he gnaws away at the leaves. Wow, just when I thought the rainforest of Costa Rica couldn't get any more bizarre, we come across this obscure looking caterpillar, somewhere between a sheepdog and a blonde mustache. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. These caterpillars are venomous. However, there are no reported cases of contact that have resulted in death. If you are ever stung, the best first aid is a cold ice pack applied to the location of the sting, and antihistamines can be administered to help with the itching and burning. All right, Donnie. We'll see you later, buddy. Enjoy your leaf. Lesson to be learned here. If you see a caterpillar that looks soft and fuzzy, do your absolute best to avoid cuddling with it. If you thought this was one bizarre looking creature, make sure to check out my encounter with the hooded leaf mantis. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. And I imagine that they must have pretty good eyesight how big their eyes are. And look at how he can just tuck his arms underneath his thorax like that.